We are working on problem six, empirical algorithms strike back. We're designing a sequel game to the one in the previous problem in which a group of players each controls a space empire. You have to read it that way. A set of star systems in the universe. Some pairs of, so uh, actually there was something important there <laughs> hidden by the, yeah. um, an empire is a set of star systems. Okay. Some pairs of star systems are connected by wormholes. Others are not. Sounds like a graph. Wormholes can be traveled in either direction, but no travel between star systems is possible without a wormhole. So uh, this is an undirected graph. The previous one was a directed graph. We, by the way, assumed no travel between star systems was possible in the previous one, even though it didn't say that. I think that was a totally reasonable assumption. Okay, so this one is an undirected graph because wormholes can be traveled in either direction. We've written an algorithm to generate an attractive universe, which is a collection of star systems and wormhole connections but we're stuck on how to divide the universe up among the players when the game starts. Okay, in particular, we want to solve Space Quest 2. Here's the Space Quest 2 problem. Given a list of star systems, a list of wormhole connections, again, we're going to assume that's just a graph. I didn't mention this sometime, last time, but you know maybe there are two wormholes between one pair of star systems, so it's a multigraph instead of a graph. We're going to not care. We're just going to say this is a plain old graph. Okay, So this time we've got an undirected graph right here. Okay. Uh, we're given a count of the players this time, P, and we're given an empire size, K. Can we assign each star system to exactly one player while ensuring that no player controls any connected set of star systems larger than K? Okay, so we want to assign each star system to exactly one player and we want to ensure that no player controls any connected set of star systems larger than K. Okay, players may start with no star systems at all. The universe must be connected. So some players don't have to be assigned any star systems, or you know, even all players could be assigned no star systems, I guess, if, if we had a small enough graph. Okay, here is a modest size instance of SQ2, where circles are star systems and lines are wormholes. To its right are two alternate assignments of star systems to players for P equals 3 and K equals 2 that respect the problem's constraints. So actually, this isn't the whole instance here. This is just the graph. But we're going to say the number of players is P, and the number of star systems in an empire is at most K. So K is one of these threshold, value, threshold values. And so it says it's given us two alternate assignments of star systems to players. Uh, there are three players, one, two, and three. So here, player one controls this one, this one, and this one. Player two controls these two, and player three controls this one. And over here, notice uh, on this one, how many star systems does player one control? None. Okay, but that's all right. We said player one can control no star systems. Um, over here, by the way, let's let's double check on the first one. Uh, I'm just going to uh, highlight the. Um, so here's one of player one's uh, connected star systems. Here's another, and here's another. Okay. Um, and then here are player two's empires right here, and here is player three's empire down here. Okay, now are any of these larger than size 2, which is the limit? And the answer is clearly no. Uh, player 1 only controls size 1 empires. Player 2 has a size 2, sorry, size 1 sets of connected star systems. Its whole empire is, is three star systems, but its sets of connected star systems are three separate size 1s. Uh, player 2's got one size 2, and player 3 has one size 1. On the right here, uh, I kind of don't want to use pink again because it's too dark, but I'm going to use it because I started with that. So player two controls this set of connected star systems. Player three's got a whole bunch of star systems, but they've got two that are only size one and one set of star systems that's connected that is of size two. So that does not violate the constraints of the problem. It turns out we didn't even need three players. We just needed two. All right. So let's go down. Hey, by the way, isn't it funny how in order to reason about this problem, I picked some colors and colored the nodes of the problem?
What NP complete problem does that remind you of? Da, 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 da. Just think about that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and solve problems one and two uh, because they're really just more expl exploration of the problem. We're supposed to give a trivial instance of SQ2 and its solution. Now, last time we said you can't have an empty graph. Can you have an empty graph this time? Uh, your givens are a graph, P and K. Uh, P is the number of players, K is the maximum number of star systems in a set of connected systems controlled by the same player. Um, does that require that there be any star systems? I think the answer is no. So here's a trivial instance. This is our graph right here. It's got nothing in it. Uh, P is equal to whatever, zero. There are no players. And uh, K is equal to zero. There are no star systems allowed in anybody's connected empires, and the answer is yes. All right, now we're supposed to give a small instance of SQ2 and its solution. So now, um, you know, we could give a one-node instance, but but that's that's going to be trivial too. Let's let's at least give something that requires a tiny tiny bit of thought. Okay, so how about two nodes? Okay, so this is our graph. And the number of players is equal to um, 2, and k is equal to 1. And the answer in this case is yes. And why is the answer yes? Because you can color this star system yellow for player 1, uh, and then uh, I won't use our dreaded pink. Oh, yes, I will, OK. Uh, and then you're forced to color the other star system pink. But having done so, you've then got a legitimate solution. So it at least requires figuring something out. 